Hey everyone, on today's Mushroom Minute, we are at the Field and Forest Products Research Farm and we are going to look at the difference between logs that we inoculated in the fall of the year and kept them inside versus logs that we inoculated this spring. Gonna look at some of the differences and what you do with your logs after you have them inoculated. These are the logs that we inoculated in the fall of the year and kept them indoors. You can see all of that really healthy mycelial growth all along the edges of these logs. These are logs that we inoculated this spring and you can see the difference between this one. Their mycelium has not reached the edges of these logs yet where it has on these ones we inoculated in the fall of the year. Here in Wisconsin we like to do a fall inoculation because the time of cut during the fall of the year is really healthy for the logs and then this way we can get a jump start by using the entire winter by modifying an indoor space that we can use that time to have the spawn run through the logs as opposed to just waiting for them to have that happen naturally outside. Now that the daytime temperatures are in the 50s, it is time to bring both the indoor incubated fall inoculated logs as well as the spring inoculated logs outside and into the laying yard. Once you bring the logs outside, you're going to want to stack them flat onto pallets, keeping them slightly off the ground to avoid any competitor fungi. Keeping the logs stacked in a single layer will ensure that each have equal access to any moisture and rainfall that occurs naturally. Logs will remain in this configuration until the fall of the year when they are ready to fruit. Nine to 12 months after the inoculation date, the logs can be moved into this configuration, which opens the space in between them, allowing the mushrooms to grow.